we are withdrawing all, imagine, all, all care, including emergency care, which we are interesting with our supervisors, and these include the consultants and senior consultants and other staff above us. Following the discussions, the, gross, the, the several discussions which our government association has conducted with the parliament, the parliamentary commissions, has conducted with the ministry, several ministry, public service, the ministry of finance, ministry of health, and including state house and his excellency. They, we, we, they, they had, we had agreed that the salary of medical officer special grade be at least 11 million, but we, we have been tracking up and forth. We don't know why we are still being given six millions and that we are a very crucial cadre. As you may recall, last week on uh, the first, which was Labor Day of May 2023, the senior health officers and clinical fellows nationwide uh, laid down their tools. And in our initial plan, we have been offering emergency services for the last eight days. And we hoped that the powers that be would look into our issues. Senior health officers have not been paid for close to six months. And the question we always ask is how many government officials can go one or two months without pay? We have several senior health officers, these are specialists in training, who are dropping out of school. Their children are at home. They can't afford a meal. We already work in facilities where we don't have gloves to touch you when you're bleeding. But we don't have such as to use in theater to stitch you up. Tonight at exactly 11 p.m., as our supervisors are leaving their stations, the senior health officers and clinical fellows nationwide are going to leave all stations and we shall not cover any emergencies with immediate from today at 11 p.m.